This adapter, while good, feels like I'm cheating on my Nikon system with a Canon EF lens. That's right, it's a new adapter by Megadap. It is the EFTZ21, taking your EF lenses from Canon and putting them onto a Nikon Z body, Z9, Z8, ZF, ZFC, respectively. But is this something the market wants? Is it something that you need? Let's talk about that right now. All right, guys, I'm not paid or sponsored for this video in any way, shape, or form. These are my thoughts and my thoughts only. Now, Megadap did send me these two adapters, the E to Z, which I'm actually recording on right now to show you, you know, proof of performance, how it works with a Sony lens or Sony E-mount lens on a Nikon Z body, and also this adapter here. Uh, with that said, they have not seen this video in advance. They have no idea what I'm gonna say. My thoughts, my thoughts only. As a product, does it work as described? And the answer is yes, it does. This is a really well-made product. I love the E to Z adapter. I think it's fantastic. I'm actually getting almost the same performance as I'm getting out of a native Z lens on a Z body, but with a Sony E-mount lens. And you're getting that kind of performance here with an EF adapter, taking your Canon EF lenses to a Nikon body. But when you see them together, it does feel a little bit like cheating. You know what I mean? It's like you got the get, get out of jail free card here. It feels sacrilegious in a lot of ways, but at the same time, it's kind of fun because there's lenses that Canon has, especially for me, I love the 51.2L lens. I love that lens, even though it's not the most well-corrected, perfect 50 millimeter lens out there. I love the way that it renders. And then when you match it to, let's say, a Z8, Z9, ZF respectively, you're gonna get a really unique look. And also there's a super telephoto lenses out there that some of you that are into wildlife sports photography maybe own, and maybe you don't like the R3, R5, R6, R7 from Canon right now, but you say, look, I like the Z8, Z9, and I want to adapt it to that, and now you can. And you're gonna get pretty much the same performance. Now, in terms of the design of this adapter, it's not as small or slim as the E to Z because I think that's mirrorless to mirrorless. This is, you know, kind of a DSLR mount to a mirrorless system. And of course, the Z mount is a very large diameter in terms of its size. So it's gonna be have a little bit more size to this, but it's built really well. It's dust proof, waterproof. You've got a control ring here. You've got a function button here. So you're gonna get all those functions and features that you would want to use with your EF lens. You can now bring that over to the Z series for video and for photography as well. Also, you have uh, aperture synchronization to this so you can control from the body, from the lens. You have all that in play. Um, you can update this adapter via the camera itself like you can with the E to Z adapter. Um, I've done that a few times because Megadap does update these adapters quite often. And so you can do that as well. Just pop in your SD card or CF Express Type B card respectively, and you can update it. No issues at all with that. Outside of that though, it's well made. It is, it's not as big as the FTZ2 adapter, FTZ adapter from Nikon. So that's one thing I do appreciate. Um, hopefully Nikon in the future does make a smaller FTZ adapter. We'll see if they do or not, but regardless, um, you've got a much more compact system here that's gonna give you full autofocusing capabilities. You're also gonna have subject detection. All that is gonna come into play. So whatever your camera has that will translate to this um, lens adapter, you're gonna get your XF data, all that is there. In a nutshell, it's gonna be almost like using a Canon body with your EF lens, except it's a Nikon body. And that kind of feels weird to talk about that. With that said, does the market want this? Is it necessary? And that's the question I had when Megadep asked me about this adapter, if I would like to review it. And I thought, you know, in my world here, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And that's because I'm testing all the latest and greatest gear and also have some vintage stuff. But for the most part, you think Canon EF goes to Canon body, Nikon F to Nikon body, respectively. Now, obviously we are adapting Sony lenses here or Sony E-mount lenses, but is there a market for it? And I don't know. But then I said, Bobby, take yourself out of the equation and think about it from another user's perspective. Maybe they invested in the Canon system for many, many years. They've got great super telephoto lenses. They're into sports and wildlife photography or portraiture. And while Nikon has a lot of great lenses as well, maybe they've invested so much money, they don't want to sell those lenses and get into a Nikon system. Now, they can breathe a second life into that with a Nikon Z body because there's a lot to be said with the capabilities of the Z8 and Z9 that in many ways they do trump the R5, R3 when it comes to video photography being a true hybrid camera system. These cameras do significantly more in my personal opinion. So I guess the question is to you, what do you guys think of this adapter? Do you think it's necessary in the marketplace? Would you pick one up? I would love to hear from you guys. Anyway, those are my thoughts on this Megadap EFTZ21. EF to Z adapter. Quite a short video, but there's not much to say. I like what Megadap is doing in terms of the features and the updates and the functionality that they're already doing on their existing adapter. So I think this one will do relatively well as well, but is there a market for it? Let me know. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, more content on the way. Thanks again for the support and I will chat to you soon.